less than 9.7, compare decimals less than, greater than, or equal to. We can compare decimal amounts by using decimal models like hundredths grids to compare shaded parts from different grids. We can then use the symbols less than, greater than, or equal to to show less than, greater than, or equal to. And remember, this symbol means less than. It kind of looks like a slanted L, doesn't it? For less, the small pointed part of the symbol faces the lesser value, and the large open part faces the greater value. Some teachers say the big mouth eats the big number. We can also use a number line or a place value chart to compare decimal values. We can put decimals in order from least to greatest or greatest to least. And we can think of benchmarks, zero, 50 hundredths as a half, we can even do 5 tenths as a half, couldn't we? And one whole to compare decimals. Will the decimal be less than a half or greater than a half? We have 3 tenths. Well, 3 tenths is less than 5 tenths. So it would be less than half. It would be less than 50 hundredths. And 82 hundredths would be more than a half, so it would be on this side. That means that 3 tenths is less than 82 hundredths. We learned about benchmarks back in video 6.6, .6, which will be linked in this description. We need to compare 48 hundredths to 5 tenths. And by shading a hundredths grid, we can compare the shaded parts. Here, 48 of 100 are shaded. And here, we have five tens that are shaded out of the hundred, five columns of ten. That's 50 hundredths. We can easily see this one is missing two, so 48 hundredths is less than five tenths. 48 hundredths is less than 50 hundredths. And we can compare these decimals using a number line. The lesser value will be closer to zero on the left of the number line, and the greater value will be on the right. We have 48 hundredths and 5 tenths, and 48 hundredths has 4 tenths and 8 hundredths. 5 tenths has 5 in the tenths place and 0 hundredths. And we can write 5 tenths as 50 hundredths. Here's 48 hundredths on our number line. Here's 50 hundredths on our number line. We can see that 48 hundredths is closer to zero on the left, so it's less. We can compare decimal numbers by using place value. The digit in the ones place are the same. They both have a zero, so we compare the digits in the tenths place. This has four tenths, this has five tenths. We know this 48 hundredths is less than five tenths. We compared their place values and saw that four tenths was less than five tenths. That means 48 hundredths is less than five tenths. If we compare decimal values that have the same value for whole numbers, and the same value of tenths, we compare their hundredths place values. We need to compare 23 hundredths to 26 hundredths. And the digits in the ones place are the same. And the digits in the tenths place are the same. And we compare the values of the digits in the hundredths place. Three hundredths is less than six hundredths. That means 23 hundredths is less than 26 hundredths. We need to compare and write less than, greater than, or equal to. In this hundredths grid, we have 70 hundredths. 
in this hundredth grid, we have seven hundredths. There's a lot of zeros in seven, isn't there? But when we look at the hundredths grid, we can see which one is greater. There are more shaded parts in this grid. This grid is greater. It has a greater amount of shaded parts than this grid. We know that 70 hundredths is greater than 7 hundredths. Again, we need to compare them and write less than, greater than, or equal to. We have 1 and 4 tenths shaded in these grids together. And on this side, we have 5 tenths. We have two grids here and we have two grids here. And we can see that this has a greater amount of shaded parts. That means it's greater than the other two grids. We can see that 1 and 4 tenths is greater than 5 tenths. We need to be careful to compare the correct place values. We compare ones to ones, tenths to tenths, and hundredths to hundredths. We have one tenth, and we need to compare it to five hundredths. We can write them with the same denominator. One tenth is equal to a one numerator and a ten denominator. Five hundredths is a five numerator and a one hundred denominator. We can write one tenth with a one hundred for a denominator. We think 10 times 10 is equal to 100. We have to multiply the numerator by the same amount. 1 times 10 is 10. That's 10 hundredths. Now we can compare 10 hundredths and 5 hundredths. And we can see the numerator 10 is greater than the numerator 5. 10 hundredths is greater than 5 hundredths. So now we can put a greater than sign up here. Sometimes it helps to get scratch paper and write them both as fractions and give them the same denominator. We need to compare 37 hundredths and 34 hundredths. They have the same digits in the ones place. And look, they have the same digit in the tenths place, so we compare their hundredths. Seven hundredths is greater than four hundredths. So we know that 37 hundredths is greater than 34 hundredths. They had the same digit in the ones place. They had the same digit in the tenths place. So we compared them using the hundredths place. Now let's use some higher order thinking skills. That means we might have to think a little harder. We need to compare these and write less than, greater than, or equal to in the circle. We look at this one, we have 80 hundredths, and here we have 8 tenths. If you look at this one carefully, you can see it has an 8 in the tenths place and no hundredths. Well, this is actually 8 tenths. 80 hundredths is equal to 8 tenths. We can multiply the numerator and denominator by 10 and see that it's equal to 80 hundredths. Here we have 28 hundredths and 2 tenths. If you think about their place values, this has a 2 in the tenths place, but this is 2 tenths. We can use scratch paper and give this one a denominator of 100. We multiply the numerator and denominator by 10 and we get 20 hundredths, which is greater, 28 hundredths or 20 hundredths. Well, this has an 8 in the hundredths place, and this has a 0 in the hundredths place. So 28 hundredths is greater. For this one, we have 6 hundredths and 3 tenths. We can use scratch paper and make them equivalent. We can also think that there are 3 tenths and no hundredths here, and we can just put a 0 there and make it 30 hundredths. Which is greater, 6 hundredths or 30 hundredths? Oh, 6 hundredths is less than 30 hundredths. We put a less than sign, it kind of looks like a 
slanted L for less than. Here we have one-fifth and five-tenths. We can use scratch paper, and we can make this have tenths for a denominator. We ask ourselves five times some number is equal to ten. Well, that would be a two. That means we need to multiply the numerator by two. That means one-fifth is equal to two-tenths. And we can write five-tenths as a fraction. We can also write two-tenths as a decimal. Now we can easily see that two-tenths is less than five-tenths. By writing them as equivalent fractions or decimals, we can easily compare them and put the correct sign. Put the decimals in order from least to greatest. We have 79 hundredths, 7 hundredths, and 70 hundredths. When we look at them, they all have a zero in the ones place. So we compare the tenths place just to the right of the decimal point. This one has a seven, this one has a zero, and this one has a seven. Well, this seven hundredths has a zero in its tenths place, so it's the least. So we write it first. 79 hundredths and 70 hundredths both have a 7 in the tenths place, so we compare hundredths. This one has a 9, this one has a 0. 0 hundredths is less than 9 hundredths. That means 79 hundredths is the greatest value. And we know to put 70 hundredths as the middle value. Now they're in order from least to greatest. We compared their ones place, then we compared their tenths place, then we compared their hundredths place. Bob and Dave ran a 60 meter dash race. Bob finished in seven and 89 hundredths seconds. Dave finished in seven and 83 hundredths seconds. What was the time of the runner who finished first? We can use a place value chart. We think we need to find who finished the race first. That means who did it fastest. And we can use a place value chart to compare the digits. They have the same ones. They have the same tenths. We look at their hundredths. Bob has nine hundredths. Dave has three hundredths. But the runner who finished first will have the lesser time because he was faster. They have the same ones, the same tenths. We can see nine hundredths is greater than three hundredths. Seven and eighty-nine hundredths is greater. But be careful. The runner who finished first will have the lesser time because he was faster. So what was the time of the runner who finished first? It had to be Dave at seven and eighty-three hundredths seconds. It's very important that we answer what it's asking of us. That way we'll n we know we'll give the correct answer. So remember when you're comparing decimals, you start by comparing each place value. You compare the ones to the ones, the tenths to the tenths, and the hundredths to the hundredths. This is the end of chapter nine. We're gonna be moving on to chapter 10. We're gonna learn about two dimensional figures or shapes. Have a great day, and I'll see you there. Bye.